So today I'm going to be showing you a makeup tutorial um, using my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and my recently purchased uh, Maybelline New York Color Tattoo. This is uh, in gold, whoops, bold gold. Um, so I'm just going to get straight into the makeup tutorial. I wanted to do a makeup tutorial for you guys because I've mainly just been talking about products and stuff like that. So I want to do a tutorial for a change. Okay, so. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyelids with the e.l.f. eyelid primer. And I'll link the e.l.f. website below if you would like to see that. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my eyelids. Just smoothing it out. Getting it all over. My eyelids. And the thing about this um, eyelid primer as well is... It actually says on the packaging, like, when you put it on, don't put eyeshadow on or anything until it's, like, tacky, like, really sticky. And it really does work well that way. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is just... Wow, that's the wrong side of my mirror. Next thing I'm going to do is just to... Um, this is probably a weird step to do, but I'm actually going to put the Maybelline New York... Uh, color tattoo by Eye Studio on first. It's the bottom side, and this is in bold gold that I just said. Um, I'm not really going to be using like a specific brush for this. This is just a brush that I used to use a lot, but I don't really use anymore. So I'm just going to get the little brush. It's just like a flat top brush. Put a little bit of product on it, and then just sweep it pretty much on the inner corner of my eyes. And this eyeshadow really does stay on well. Like, it is really creamy. Um, it is really pretty. It looks really nice. I think it would go well on pretty much anyone's eyes. I mean, you don't have to have, like, a specific eye colour to wear this. Um, I think I got this for about $12 at Target. Um, but I think it's definitely worth it. Worth it. I mean, you do get a lot of, um, product with it as well. Alright, so, yeah, you pretty just, pretty much just want to put it on the inner half of your eye. So, after you've done that, I'm now going to take my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, and you really don't have to use this palette. Um, I will link the website below. Um, so pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking this colour here, which is Tease, and this is just a really light matte brown, so if you can find a... Whoa. If you can find a really light matte brown colour, then definitely get it. So I'm going to be taking the brush that came with the eyeshadow. It's just a fluffy brush. I'm going to be putting it on the half of the eyelid that I haven't put the um, colour tattoo on. So just on the other half. And just, I just sort of, I don't really have like a special way I do my makeup. I just sort of fiddle with it until I'm happy with it, which probably isn't really that good, but oh well. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to be taking is, which one is it? This is Chopper, so it's just this one here, if you can see it. So it's a really, um, really brown, really shimmery. So I'm going to be taking the same brush, same end, sweeping that, and then I'm going to be putting it in my crease of my eye. So I pretty much just swirl it around the inner corner, the outer corner, sorry, and then just sort of moving that inwards. Same on this, so I swirl it around on my outer corner, and then I just sort of move it into my crease. And then I do move it a bit up onto my brow bone because I feel like I have pretty small eyes um, when I... When I just leave my eyes like normal, it kind of covers my eyelid, so I have to put it up a bit further so you can actually see the colour of the eyeshadow and create a look. So I just sort of fiddle with that until I'm happy. And I'm going to be taking another colour. This is the YDK. So this is more like a golden brown. See the other one, which one is it? This one's got more of the brown colour in it. This one has 
golden brown, so it's more goldy and more shimmery. So I'm going to be taking the same end of the brush, and I'm going to be putting that just on the outer corner, and sort of a bit on the brow bone. So I'm not putting this one too much on the crease. This is just sort of for me to make it a bit darker. And then I'm going to be taking my Napoleon Purtis eyeshadow slash crease brush. And I'm going to be using this end, which is the crease end. And then I'm going to be taking my Calvin Klein eyeshadow. And this is in deep brown. So it's a matte brown. So I'm just going to be dabbing this onto my crease end. Actually, so just going to be dabbing this onto my outer crease, I mean the outer corner of my eye, and then slowly working it into my crease. But I'm just defining the crease more. I'm making the look just a bit more dramatic, a bit more nighttime. So you can tell just by adding that little bit of a matte eyeshadow that it's just that little bit darker. And then for my brow bone highlight, I'm going to be using my Naked 2 palette and I'm going to be using the colour Booty Call. So this is just a really, it's a pink shimmery champagne colour. But to me it doesn't look like that when I put it on my eyelid. So I'm going to be using my uh, e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. This is just a flat brush, so I'm going to be putting this right above the eyeshadow that I've put on and on my eyebrow bone. You don't want to drag it down, you don't want to pull it anywhere, you just want to dab it on. Um, the next thing I'm going to be doing, I want to put a little bit of colour in the inner corner um, of my eye just here. Um, I think it just looks a lot prettier. So I'm going to be taking the Booty Core colour again, I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. defining eye brush. So this is just an angle brush that I got and I will link the e.l.f. website below if you would like to have a look at that. So just putting it on the corner, on the corner brush and I'm probably going to look really funny doing this. So I sort of pull on my nose and it pulls the corner of your eye out so you can get it in there. Um, usually I would put the e.l.f. eyelid primer on but because I'm not really doing anything today um, I'm not going to put it on but definitely put the eyelid primer on. So pulling on my nose and then I'm going to be working this into the corner of my eye. So this really does just brighten up your eye and makes it look just that just a little bit more prettier, I think. Um, so again, I'm going to be taking my colour tattoo and we're not going to be using a lot of this, so I want to put this using my small brush, just really on the tip. You don't want to pat it in, you want to put it on the tip. So, there we go. I'm going to be adding just a bit more up here. I feel like it's dulled a little bit. So a bit more up here. Alright, and the next thing I'm going to be doing is taking my Maybelline New York uh, Line Express Eyeliner, and this has got the pencil bit and then the smudge bit. So I'm just going to be putting this on and I'm not putting it on my lower waterline. I'm literally putting it on the skin just underneath that. And I'm taking the smudge bit, just looks like that, and then smudging it out. Really just kind of make it really dark and noticeable. And then I'm just taking the Calvin Klein eyeshadow, the deep, um, deep brown. I'm putting this on my angle brush, and I'm putting it just over the eyeliner. The reason I'm doing this is to set the eyeliner. Um, I noticed that with this eyeliner, it did um, rub off and smudge a lot, and it just it didn't last very long. But I noticed that if I put some eyeshadow over the top, it just set it, and it just made it last a lot longer. And then the next thing we're going to be doing is taking my favorite, favorite, favorite liquid liner of all time. This is the Maybelline New York Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner. It has just like a really precise pen. So I'm going to just be taking this, I'm going to be pulling my eye out so you get a really clean line. And you don't want it too thick um, if you don't want to, but I kind of like having thicker 
um, liquid eyeliner and I'm sort of just going to be winging it out a little bit like you don't want a big wing you really do just want it to be noticeable I guess just a little bit so you can see that and I'm going to be doing the same on the other side um, I remember when I first started using liquid eyeliner on the top of my eyelid it took me so long to sort of do it and get it right pretty much all the time it took me forever so I'm just going to be winging it out just that little bit I don't like too big of a wing on the top I don't know just it looks good on a lot of girls but I just I don't think it's really my thing another tip um, when you're putting colour on the inner corner of your eyes, it sometime, sometimes helps if you use a uh, liquid um, eye colour, but I've found it hard to sort of find one that doesn't sting your eye when you put it in there, but um, if you put like a liquid colour on, like a liquid gold, like, um, where is it? Like this Avon one that I have. So it's like just the gold, and it's just like this, and it's really pretty. So it's just like a really nice gold colour and if you put that on the inner corner, um, just a tiny little bit even if you just smudge it in with your finger or anything like that and then you put a colour on it, it's really going to brighten up the colour that you put on it even if you just put shimmery colour on it. So that's really just going to help it out a little. Um, what was I up to? The next thing I'm going to be doing is curling my ashes, ashes, my eyelashes and I don't know which eyelash curler this is but it's just like a normal one. So just curling them. As normal. And then I'm going to be using my Maybelline uh, Falsies Volume Express Mascara. And I love this mascara. You can get it from Target. It's really good. Mainly you want to focus on the top of your eyelashes. Um, you can use um, false eyelashes. I haven't really um, had the talent to put them on properly yet without them hurting my eyes or looking dumb um, but I really want to do these false lashes more I need to buy one I need to just practice for a while I mean putting false eyelashes on it you really do need to practice with that and then you want to just put it on bottom lashes like so um so that's the look for you guys um I think with this look, if you're going to go for a really dark eye, especially for night time, you don't want to use a really bright colour for your lips. You really sort of just want like a nude, uh, neutral colour um, and just a really light blush. But I think this look can work for anyone, um, even just for any time. I pretty much wear this sort of eyeshadow every day, kind of like my everyday routine. But this one just has a gold on it. It just makes it that more nighttime going out sort of look. Um, so here's a quick overview of what it looks like. Um, I will uh, link all the websites below that I've got a lot of my stuff from. Um, and if you have any questions about the products that I use or anything like that, um, definitely leave a comment below and I'll definitely comment you back. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching so much. Um, I really enjoyed doing this makeup tutorial. It might have been pretty not very well explained, but um, I sort of just did a spur of the moment sort of thing. Um, so I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys have a good day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye everyone.